Wah. Wah. Wah, wah, wah. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Ghost Like Garden. I'm your host, Bone Score. There it is there on the side. Check it out. Today, today we're here. We're hanging out. And we're going to be playing some Tales of Iron. Ooh. It's not all that spooky. Uh, we finished it yesterday. We finished the base game. And today... We're going to hang out and we're going to check out the DLC, the Bright Fur Forest, which is a whole post-game thing. So I'm excited for that and hope you guys are too. Uh, we're going to just jump right in and get to it and see how it go. So if you all will uh, join me now together. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, buttons. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three. There it is. There we go. Okay. Now we can play a video game. Let's do it. Let's do it, everybody. Use of a controller is highly recommended. They recommend it very much, very highly, a big amount, very a lot. Alright. Load game. Load game. Okay, long tail village. So we were going. This is where we started. We're wearing that sick armor. And right, we have a quest there. That's where I am. Should we give that a shot? Should we warm up at Mole Town? <laughs> I doubt we'll actually be able to make it happen. But. You know. Might be fun to at least try. At the very least, it'll help me get a handle on my buttons. Because that's, uh, that's always important. Always something I need to do. At the beginning of these. So, up is draw and store weapons dodge on the thing on B I got quick attack on X and I got heavy on trigger and then block on the other trigger right okay the grub buster armor was mole kind's ingenious defense against even the most vicious grub bites Reggie wondered how he stood up to his soul. okay two three god damn it keep your block up when he's up there. Fuck. Ooh, not great. Ooh, equally not great. Hmm. Right, I remember yesterday... I quit because I was like, yeah, no, he's got some iframes to him. Yeah, yeah, he's hard to hit. Looks like you gotta, like, wait until he's finished an attack and then go in for your own. Oh, man, really? Oh, fuck. Don't let go of the block. Don't let go of the block. Oh, he's got it. Okay. Let me try that just a couple of times. J just like once or twice. I feel like I'll, uh... I feel like I'll have a better chance at it than I did yesterday, for some reason. Not quite as, like, wound up, I guess, it being, like, the end of the stream or whatever. Because I'll admit, I was, uh, kind of... When we finished yesterday, I was like, okay, it's, like, it's finished, right? I Like, I'm done, I can go now. How many quests are left? Not a fan of when games um, end 
and then like they keep handing you quests one at a time like I don't mind an explosion of post game content like after the credits finish but if you're gonna if you're gonna like have like 30 quests for me to do and just give them to me one at a time that sucks Because very rarely do I hit credits in a game and, like, go, Oh, man, I wish there was more. I wish I could, like, keep playing and there's more to do. And It's a very rare feeling. Hmm. Oh god, you can't get up fast enough to block after that shot. <clears throat> so, if he's doing that uppercut thing, I guess I should move backwards? Instead of blocking, just walk away. Don't be too eager. But do get in there. Ah, oh, shit. See, I tried to hit him... Yeah, see, because he's got the iframes there, so I try to get him when he lands. But then he, like, goes into that uppercut move, like, too fast. And it's either get shot, like, after he pushes me back, or take damage on the pushback and avoid the shot. That's trash. The like every time I go to hit him and he just like dodges away from it, that's garbage. Like that. That's fuck like what the fuck, man? And then like I can't hit him without getting close enough to him that he he does the fucking uppercut thing yeah okay yeah yeah no wonder I stopped doing this <clears throat> yeah they they really they gotta do something about the uh, the iframes on that that's a big problem uh, can you guys hold on one second There you go, sorry about that, I forgot to put up my sign that says shut the fuck up. Which for those of you who, who don't know, yes, we do have a sign here. Or I have a sign that I, I put up out in the basement here when I'm streaming that, you know, in a more polite way says, hey, shut the fuck up. Oh yeah, we're taking the train over to the Bright Fur Forest. Weird. Hey, bro. Hey, squirrel, bro. Ooh, ooh, they got a... a bench all carved out of log. Nice. Alright, what is... Hey there. Hey, squirrel man. Oh, cool, okay. That's a, a neat golden axe. I'm not going to use it, though. Probably sucks ass. Two-handed spear. Also looks like it sucks ass. Yeah, your stuff is... Uh, uh, ooh, ooh, really bad. It's all really bad. was not at all what the young king expected. He'd heard the bright fur's golden leaves bathed the entire forest in light. There'd been no mention of these giant mushrooms that made the air heavy with spores. 
Huh. This is a... Uh... Oh, it needs a key. This is surprising. I really want to hit the map button and just see, like, what it looks like. But we'll just we'll just explore. That's really pretty with the lights and the. Of course, I I super appreciate pretty glowing lights. Um, <clears throat> but like the lighting in the background there is really nice. Like it, I don't know what it is. Like something about the way the light and the shadows are hitting in the background there on the various layers. Like really add to the depth. And the, uh, like, the sense of, like, like real 3D space back there, that's really cool. Like, if you look hard enough at it, you can still tell that, like, they're flat painted assets that are just, like, layered over each other at various distances, and there's, like, whatever filters laid over it. But, it, like, the lighting and the shading is doing a lot for that visual effect right in that little pocket there. That's really pretty. <clears throat> the bright fur's golden light fell on the forest clearing and caravans like an enchantment. The mood, though, was not festive, but worried. Oh. People are all worried here, huh? The squirrels have a neat fashion sense. I'm not quite sure what cultures specifically that's pulling reference from, but uh, that's really neat. Looks like they might have like a mesh of, of some things. Is that just gold pouring out of the fucking tree? Bright moss? That sounds cool. Uh-oh. Oh, I may have to mute for a minute. Hold on, guys. Okay, walk, walk. Sorry about that. My stepdad came home, like, I was actually gonna start the stream like a half hour ago, and my stepdad came home right when I was about to start, and he was like, hey, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut the grass right now. And I was like, oh, okay. And now he's going around with the, the weed whacker, trimming everything up, so didn't want the uh, the audio getting all shitty when he came by my window which he absolutely did at least it's over now though oh hey I'm just noticing on the pause screen here if you look at the the tapestry painting thing on the right there uh, it's split into like two panels or whatever and the top panel you've got what looks like Dennis possibly uh, forging something on a on an anvil and it looks like it's a game controller it looks like Dennis the rat is forging the first NES controller and uh, the Herald dude is there to celebrate it that's cool chief bright moss over there go get it bright moss huh 
I can get on board with that. I can get on board with moss that glows. With the golden light of the camp behind him, Reggie headed back out into the gloom in search of the mines. Back into the gloom. Oh man, yeah, they're doing it here too with the light and the shadow in the background. And what's up with that? The one like plant on the log there illuminated by the god ray. Hey, Lognecos, you're welcome. Welcome, how are you? Hope all's well. Hope you're doing good. Lognecos, have you caught COVID yet? I mean, not since the last time. We caught it once, like... What was it, like a year or two ago? And that sucked ass. But, uh... No, we haven't had it again since then, thank God. Oh, you meant like in the game? You imagine the rats are nasty? Um, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. He may be full of diseases at this point. He has been wandering around in poison. Shoot, bang! You know what? I need to, like, settings. This is, like, way too late. But if I could do that... Yeah, do that, and then, like, turn up the volume on my end a little bit. I might be able to hear Geralt's voice a little bit better. Uh, you're fine. Past being oversleepy. Got up at 4 a.m. Tried to fix sleep again. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, your sleep schedule is just all fucked up, like, all the time. This doesn't look all too... Too much to deal with. Well, I'm glad you're over being, uh... Being sleepy tired. Glad that's, uh, behind you. Oh. Now that you're, um, <clears throat> back on your feet, I guess, um, are you, do you have anything you're planning to get into? Are you gonna, like, you gonna try and, like, marathon the end of DS3, or... You got like a like a console. Your uh, you end up finished painting your um, your Xbox or whatever. Because remember you saying you were like waiting for like a good day to get out and like paint something. I've been um the squirrel elder's wallet oh. came lying abandoned. If he didn't have it, Reggie wondered, how did he carry himself from this place? There we go. I've been um getting some more um some more of my D, &D character designs done. I managed to actually finish one the other day. I've got another one that's like almost like completely done as well. Um I've been uh I've got a Christmas present almost done, almost half done, and oh god damn it. Yeah, I've, I've got uh, one part of a Christmas present almost, uh, almost done, and um, god damn it. Yeah, that shoot bang is still a little loud, isn't it? And what else did I do? Oh yeah. I, uh, I snagged the Wii off of my brother so that I can try and homebrew it whenever I've got the, the time to do that. I need to order... Um, I need a couple things, though, first. I need a GameCube controller. I need an HDMI adapter for the Wii. And I need... Um... Oh, yeah, I did that one. Uh, and I need, um, like, a USB 
to uh, a USB and an SD, I think. To put all the, the fucking program stuffs on. <clears throat> but ideally, if I can get that to work at some point, then uh, we can use the Wii to play GameCube games. Which I've been dying to do for ages. Oh, fuck. This beetle is, uh, aggressive. You okay, puppy? Puppy's on the floor, itching real hard. Don't be- hey! Hey! Leave the paws alone. That's gross. Yeah, it's gross. Don't do that. Don't itch your ear and then eat whatever you scratched out of it. Uh, I'll be honest, you spray painted the last part was too lazy. <laughs> it happens. Uh, you have a complaint about DS3, the deep cathedral. The boss there is ass. Didn't manage to kill him since exploring the whole place is such a chore. I can't remember, um, uh, Cathedral of the Deep, um, is that one, the, uh, the boss there, is that the Deacons of the Deep? The one that's, like, the crowd? Or is it, um, oh god, I want to say Pontiff Sullivan, but that's probably the wrong guy. The guy with the, the two swords? It is two swords, right? Oh, I oh, okay. I did that wrong. Balls are just lots of mages and big bundles, and they hide and spam fireballs. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's the the fight. That's what I thought it was. Is there? But oh, there's. There's bugs up top, or bug juice rather up top. No, just come on, puppy. If you're gonna go do, if you're gonna do that, can you go do it like out in the room? You just gonna sit there? Okay. That's what you call maximum laziness of boss design. I mean, it's a it's a boss type that they've done before, um, and it's it's kind of they they've done it well before. Um, the first example that comes to my mind is the um, um, oh god, it's not the celestial emissary. I can't remember the name of it. But uh, in Bloodborne, uh, you fight, like, the horde of aliens in the garden there. And, um, like, only one of them is the is the real guy, right? Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's, a, it's a real simple, like, find the real one kind of thing, right? Um, They did that sort of in, uh, oh god damn it, in DS2 as well. Um, god damn it. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I remember them doing that in DS2 where, like, you walk into that little church and, like, the whole crowd is, uh, is the fight. And I can't remember if, like, the entire congregation contributes to the boss health bar, or if it's, like, the three priests in the room. I still have my gun, don't I? Oh, fuck. There we go. That's that's better.
extra potent bright moss, unaware he almost became the Beetle Queen's snack. Thanking Reggie for the rescue, they headed back to begin the festival. Wait, they smoke the bright moss? They're just out here getting a high on moss. Okay, all right, I'm I'm with it. I'm about that. Uh oh, and the skeleton in DS one. Yeah, you're right. That yeah, that should have been like my first um. My first uh call on that. Yeah, Nito for sure. Um definitely has like the horde of skeletons yeah and it's it's an idea i've seen executed differently in um in other games as well it it reminds me of um reminds me of like the the poe encounter in Ock of time um in like the main room of the forest temple where you uh you gotta like pick out its pick the real one out like find uh find which ghost has the shadow or whatever i kind of I, I don't mind that mechanic so much the here's a bunch of enemies find which one is like the real one or the important one Bloodborne's also got like an interesting variation of that, um, like like another one where um, I think it's the Witch of Hemwick, where the witch is like invisible until you get within like five feet of her, and then like she summons like the the weird fiend monster things to attack you, and like you're you're distracted fighting these things around the room and she's like teleporting around and trying to avoid you and um the longer the fight goes on the more of the witches spawn in so like you kind of have to ignore the all the enemies you can see to go find the invisible and like the invisible boss and then um like kill her before like before too many others show up. I think there's like a minimum of two that you have to fight. Um, but I think if you can get to that point in the game with zero insight, or not with zero, but like without breaking the insight threshold, um, like if it's low enough, you just like don't see her and the fight just doesn't happen. I'm about it. Adds a small library just outside the kitchen. Ooh, yeah. I'm f only three? Yeah, okay. What is that? Bug houses. Uh, hung from the trees in the center of the Crimson Keep. Yeah, cool. Shrines honor the brave soldiers who fell in the war against the frogs. Oh, yeah, absolutely. New paintings around the castle depicting Reggie's many victories. Absolutely. Statues. Set of three cards in stone to immortalize Reggie's victories. Cool. Repair King Radist portrait. Oh, yeah. It was destroyed in the frog attack, but they fixed it. Smithy banners. Nice. Cool. Yeah, all right. That was worth all the money that we got. Nice. Uh, first... Aka Time Forest Temple is very confusing and creepy as a kid. Oh, absolutely. It's it's very, like, horror game vibes. Saw a game I might like as well. Love Metroidvania side-scrollers. Oh, is that what you just sent me in the Discord here? Let's check this out. Animal Well. I saw this on Steam the other day. I didn't, uh, I didn't actually, like, check it out, but I saw it being, uh, advertised. It was, like, on, I can't remember if it was on sale or what. Let's see. This is weird looking. Oh, oh, it is spooky. It's, like, weird arcade spooky. 
Oh man, oh this is a weird looking game. Oh shit, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not sure it's only on Switch. Is it only on Switch? I got sworn that was on Steam. Why is it? no, don't do this, not right now. Yeah, hold on a second. I know this is the most exciting part of the streams, isn't it? When I when I go, hey, fuck this game. Let's let's see what else there is. Uh store. Let's see. Did I see it here? Is that it? No. That is no, okay. Let's just type it in. And Animal Well. Yeah, there it is. Oh, and it is on sale today. Introductory offer. Uh, 10%. Huh. This is this an indie game? You know, I'll add this to the wish list. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I will, uh, I will pick that up when, uh, when they have a bigger discount for it. <laughs> Anything else I can do in here? Just the one guy I can talk to? You? Okay. Wish when I was excited for new games. You wish you got excited for new games? Oh, you miss when you got excited for new games. Oh, okay. It's not unless, like, a game looks really good or, like, particularly, like, strikes my, my specific interests that I get excited for it. And with the amount of, like, shutdowns and firings and everything that's going on in the industry lately, like, we're, we're not likely to see much uh, outside of like the indie scene which is fine because you know what like the indie scene has like really been growing over the past few years and been like turning out more and more and like better stuff um, so like I got no problem with uh, indie studios replacing AAA devs that's fine with me Because the ones who are good, like, they'll stick around, right? Like, like FromSoft will continue to be, th like, most of the Japanese uh, companies, I think, are, are going to be fine. Um, but, like, people are like, oh, no, fucking Microsoft bought a Bethesda or whatever, and then the, and now they're, like, going... They're gonna fucking close down all their game shit, and now we're not gonna get any fallouts anymore. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Oh well, we're not gonna get more Elder Scrolls. All right, we haven't had more Elder Scrolls since fucking Skyrim came out, and that was like, like what, like 15 years ago? Yeah, if, if the AAA studios want to just collapse and light themselves on fire, like, I'm totally fine with that. I am 100% okay with that. Because the good ones will continue to thrive. Like, good game devs that actually give a shit about, like, good game development, like, even if they get shut down they'll just start a new company and and you know they'll they'll go indie there we go you saw the people who made hi-fi rush got shut down yeah that was um 
That game won, like, a whole bunch of awards and shit, too. And, like, it had no marketing. It had no advertising or anything. It kind of came out just, like, out of nowhere. Like, for a game to be as successful as that one was, with, like, no marketing, um, that's, that's like a fucking miracle, man. That's beyond impressive. You've been thinking about making a mobile game that's just nice and cozy, since apps make so much money, you can have most of the game be fun, and you can earn everything cool in the game, but some extra cool stuff you don't need to pay for. That sounds neat. That'd be cool. I say go for it, man. If you got an idea and you got the the capabilities, I mean, like, why not? I mean, even if you don't like have the skill set already, like, you can develop it. Like, short of like. Short of like a like an actual like physical disability or something like being unable to like physically hold a pencil or whatever like no reason you can't like learn to draw and do your own art for a thing like that right no reason you can't like learn how to uh, how to do basic coding and and how to run some of the game maker programs I mean like. I personally, like, we, we've talked before about how, like, I can't stand the look of RPG Maker games. Like, specifically RPG Maker games that look like RPG Maker games. Um, but, I mean, like, that's a, like, it's a tool that a lot of people use, right? And I imagine that it's got to be fairly user-friendly. Probably a really decent place to start like experimenting and and learning how to how to make a game, right? All it takes is like like a basic idea or concept and you can use that as a platform to like like j just make it happen and if it's busted, then that's how you start learning to bug test. Make like a make like a, a a calculator or a, or like a um, I Hyde when uh, when he was learning how to do it, he did this really cool thing where he um, he made a program that is like a it's like a twenty questions game but it like tries to guess a number y that you're thinking of so like you pick a number between like one and whatever and it'll it'll narrow it'll ask is it like greater than 50 and and you go like i can't remember if it was like if it asked you if it was like is it greater than this or this and you say yes or no or or if it's like if it gives you a number and you go higher or lower but yeah he, he made like a number guessing thing on his on his laptop i don't know how long it took him but uh it was just a neat little like experiment thing to see like if he could do it right does Akinator have his own app by now I don't know that's a really good question though things has been around for a long time uh, you don't mind the RPG maker game since a lot of hentai games are made with those <laughs> that's true they are there is a lot of hentai games made with RPG maker that's weird one of the reasons I think big companies shouldn't be allowed to buy up other studios is never do anything with them. You know, companies do that. They never use the IPs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, there's been a big... So, it, I feel like that's something that we've only, like, seen recently in the last, like, however many years. Um, but, yeah, like, there, there absolutely should be some sort of stipulation in the video games industry where, like... If you're going to buy a company, then, like, you have to make use of a certain percentage of its IPs, and you have to put out X amount of products, um, like, using said IPs.
Because a lot of those like buy-ups and shit are like, oh well, we want this exclusive game on our platform now. Or, or we want control of this franchise in the sense that we don't want anybody else to profit from it. There's a really, like, stupid fucking, um, history around, like, Resident Evil, um, in that, uh, specifically, like, with RE4, where I think RE4 was, like, pitched to Microsoft, and both Microsoft and Sony, and they were like, no, we don't want it. And that's why it took forever for RE4 to come to the fucking Xbox, and then, um... And then, like, flash forward to now, and they're, like, like buying up the teams and shit, and just, like... The of the roots to the Puppy, are you okay? You're sitting there, and you're itching, and you're huffing. What is the matter? What, what do you... What? What, puppy? I, I cannot follow you. I cannot play this game. Oh, man. Okay. Puppy had a... Puppy's been having a rough day today. He, uh... He went out to pee this morning, and there was a cat sitting on the fence, and he just wasn't having any of that. And, uh... <laughs> The excitement from that got him all, like, worked up and sick, and so he, um, he ended up throwing up his, uh, his allergy medicine, like, immediately after we gave it to him, along with the treats he just had as well. So he's spent the day, like, tired and itchy and... And now there's somebody else is, has come home, but uh, he's not inside yet, I don't think. So he's he's anxious to go out and be a part of the outside action. Despite his allergies and his, you know, fear of bugs and... God damn it. His worst enemy, the fat cat Garfield, and don't blame him. I mean, it was, um, it is an orange cat. I think it's, it's orange and white, but yeah, it's, it's this big dumb thing that just like, likes to sit out there on the bench in the yard. The shrine of the tapped root stood before him, at the root of damage. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. Okay, so I gotta get through it when it's doing that. God, I hate this. Way to waste my poison. Fuck. Great. Great. Love it. Oh, this fight sucks. <laughs> you know, cats are kings in their own world. Nothing can divide them except a water bottle. <laughs> It's a it's a very interesting image, uh, self image to have for an animal that um, is is like left out of its own house. The cat in question like l like belongs to the people who live across the road, but they just don't keep it in the house for some stupid fucking reason. Which like I like I never. I never understand people who have cats or dogs and then just leave them outside. Like, what is the point? What is the goddamn fucking point? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, yeah, king of his own domain is a very interesting uh, self-delusion for a creature whose family doesn't even respect it enough to let it stay in the house. Oh, you fucking shit. How did that even hit me? It was on the other side. You know what? Fuck you. Oh, whores. Here we go. Cats are scary agile. Yeah, despite the domestication, they've um, they've not lost much of their their hunting prowess. They just tend to be stupid and lazy sometimes. The orange cat, I uh, I try to shoo out of here, um, partly because all it does is just sit like. It just sits there and antagonizes the dog if if, if the dog happens to see it, but um, uh, it, it also just likes to shit in the garden for some reason, which is fucking great. Um, but there, there was another cat I caught outside the other day. Um, there was a black cat who was chasing the chipmunks, so I went outside and I was like, "Hey, listen, the chipmunks are our friends." We don't like cats in this yard, but I'm giving you a chance, and I'm willing to let you hang out here if you can hunt some of the rats that have been running around. If you, if you see any of them rats, you go after them, you go for the kill. But you leave them chipmunks alone. <laughs> All right. They've been doing... Um, They've been doing goddamn, like, construction and renovations and shit over at the goddamn, uh, the mall in town. And so, of course, like, that's, like, all the noise and everything has disrupted the rats and sent them, like, outwards into the neighborhood. You see them darting through the fences and through the gardens and shit, and it's like, oh my god. Why are there so many of you? They were shocked at the news. And how are you all, like, living underneath the mall? Or inside it, or whatever. Like, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, like, the only reason, like, I'm comfortable going to the liquor store now that it's there is because, like, it's on the outside. It's on, like, the most outside. It's it's on, like, it, like a detached... It's not detached, but it's on. It's in, like, an exterior, like, building attached to the mall. Um, and, like, I know that, like, with the nature of, like, that kind of product, like, it's getting shipped in fresh on a regular basis. But, like, yeah, it makes me want to just, like, not go into the mall at all. Knowing, knowing how many fucking rats are, are living over there. Mind you, that being said, um, I think right now would probably be, like, the best time to go over, like, during the construction while they're all scared away from it. That being said, any place that's been, like, dirtied by by a lifetime of rats is not going to be, like, cleaned up and, and safe to be in over, like a, like, a week, right? So, it's probably the same shit regardless. It could not be. The frog scourge had returned. No, not the frog scourge. 
And they're riding beetles this time? You don't have shields, though. Which means you ain't shit. Uh, cats do be proud when they kill mouse. Cat's mom is very proud every time. As long as they're they're doing their job and and killing the mice, like that's that's fine. A slapping of webbed feet from the basement. More upon I don't I don't need to see it as a trophy. Feel his they can take it with them. But I do appreciate if they can get rid of the problem. God damn it, every time. Oh, yours brought them inside to show off? Oh, that sucks. That sucks so hard. Oh, he- oh. Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, alright, I can heal a little bit. Oh, get in there. Ugh. Come on, trade blows with them. I mean, you want to get, like, a better trade-in value? There we go, heal up. Damn it. Come on. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, yeah. Slice or stab, whatever. Both are good. Root tap. Spare root tap to replace the one broken by the root worm. Is used to draw bright sap from the root. With the satisfaction of the frog general dead at his paws, Reggie found the replacement tap. The squirrels would have their sacred sap. Yeah, they could just smoke their moss and drink their sap. It's gonna be a fucking rager. A sacred rager. Replacement squirrel wagon wheel. A brand new whale fits many squirrel wagons. The hell? A secret room with a dumbass looking hat? Yeah, no thanks. Mm, no, I like the armor that I've got. It's like fucking Rathian armor. I'm just now realizing that. It's like fucking Rathian armor. The green scales and the spikes and everything. I'm like a wee little pocket-sized monster hunter. Alright, I wonder who... Uh-oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 and no, no, no. I wonder who needs the wagon wheel. Can I... No, okay, that pauses the animation. Okay, fill up. Great, okay. That's not too far. Geralt was in Monster Hunter World, so it makes sense in a sense. Yeah, I guess so. That does kind of track. Reggie was surprised to find a mole in Bright Fur Forest. Oh. The mole was embarrassed. He got lost going from station C-19 to station 24-7. Reggie sympathized. Those tunnels were a tough route. Yeah, your system is crazy, man. But still enterprising. The mole had armor for sale if the king had the coin. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Of this king of rats who traveled the underground but never believed it was true. 
Perhaps Reggie knew the tunnels well enough to give him directions. Hmm. I don't want screwdriver on a stick. That bow! Look at that! Oh, that is elegant as hell. And that's just a stop sign. And a miner's hat. Okay. Mole armor, huh? Maximum mole armor. That might actually be good for the the fight later. There's the sound of the phone going off and I wish it wasn't down here at all. Dwelling as he was on the return of Frog Spawn to the Ratdom, where there's a general and army must be close by. Hey, you got anything to sell? No. Castle Dre Key. All right, we're going. We're going over with that. Logneck is a bone. Anything fun happened lately? Any dumb stories? Your life is always weird to me. Um. Uh. I don't know. Life has been kind of slow and and mundane here as of late. Um. The house next door finally went back up for sale um, after spending several months. Um, like, they just took the sign down and weren't selling it anymore. Um, the, it, the sign is back now. Um, they're still asking way too much for the place. They're not going to sell it for what they're asking for it. Um, but it's, it's at least back on the market. Um... Oh, and I kind of almost got into a, a thing with a pizza guy the other night. Um, parents had to go out to uh, a family thing in the city or whatever. So my brother and I uh, were having, we're just dealing with dinner on our own. Um, I ordered the pizza. And uh, when the guy got here with it, I took the dog so that my brother could like handle the interaction and i don't know if the guy um thought that like because my brother um he's he's kind of baby faced still um he's graduating high school this year and he still kind of has the face that he had when he was like five years old um <laughs> he looks exactly like his like his baby pictures it's fucking weird um but, uh, yeah, I, I guess the guy thought that he was younger than he was or whatever, um, and thought that he could, like, rip him off or whatever. Um, pizza was, like, 25-something or whatever, for whatever we ordered. Um, and my brother handed him 40 bucks, and he was like, oh, I don't have any change. Like, he was gonna get the whole $40, like, as a tip or whatever. Um... So he was, like, standing there arguing with my brother. He's like, I don't have change. And I had to, like, come out and be like, hey, is there a problem here? Is is there is there a problem, pizza man? And and so, like, I took over the, the exchange, and he was like, well, I don't have any change. And I was like, huh, that's, uh, that's kind of a problem for a delivery driver, don't you think? Thankfully, like, I just, like, I came back inside and I got, like, I, I got, like, a, like, a, a I, I got, like, proper money to, to pay him with, so he didn't have to break change. Um, but, like, I told my mom about that, and she's like, that's fucked up. That's, that's not acceptable. I was like, yeah, like, what kind of, like, there's an option on the website that says, like, pay with cash upon delivery, and I clicked that button. So, like, how do you not give your dude 
money for a cash interaction when he goes to deliver the pizza. Had I not been, like, you know, midstream and, you know, you guys waiting on me, I might have taken the time to argue with him a little bit more. Because, really, I should have just given him, like, 20 bucks and said, you can pay for the rest of it out of your pocket. That's your own fuck-up. Like, you should, you should know better. Take this as a lesson. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he, like, didn't think that, like, anybody was, like, home with my brother or whatever, or that he was, like, younger than he was. Um, and just, like, assumed that he was going to be able to hustle money out of the kid. And I was like, no, no, I don't think so. Not, not, not in my fucking house. <sighs> Logan, I said, I had a lucky pizza encounter actually a few days ago. Got a pepperoni. And when the girl gave me the pizza, she asked me if I wanted the whole other pizza for free, only mozzarella and sauce. Uh, I said, no, since I'm one person, eating one pizza is enough. Oh, man, you should have taken the free food. Stick that in the fridge, and you got dinner for a week. <laughs> That's what I do when my parents go away. I order, like, um... I order two pizzas, and, and, like, whatever I don't eat that night, I just, I stick in the fridge, and I have the rest for, like, for dinner as the week goes by. Saves me having to get in gear to cook dinner for, for fucking two weeks. And last time my parents went away too, they um, it, it was kind of a coin flip, and like they almost um, they almost called me and were like, "Hey, we're gonna stay another week," <laughs> and just like kind of almost just left me on the hook to like ha keep things locked down and deal with my own shit for for another week. I was like, "Could you could you not do that?" Could you not just, like, spontaneously extend your vacation, like, on the vacation while I'm here, like, expecting you guys to come back? And it wasn't even, like, oh, we're having such a good time, we want to stay longer. It was, it was a whole thing with, like, um, my stepdad's work and, like... He was he was supposed to be able to, like, go back to work, like, when they got back from vacation, and instead the boss was, like, taking an extra week off or whatever. So they were like, oh, well, we've no if we had known that, we would have stayed another week. I was like, yeah, please please don't make that decision, like, like mid-trip. There we go. I don't think they're going this year. I'm pretty sure mom said that, like, it's too much of a... a thing right now. She was gonna put her foot down. Which is great, because it's, it's less of a, a fucking pain for me to deal with. Logging next, don't worry, Bone. Being alone is kind of nice as long as you don't have to worry a lot about closing all the doors and walking the dog and such. Like being alone, but I do enjoy company for my family visiting. Um, so there's, I, I totally get what you mean. There's a big difference between, like, like, living on your own and, like, living, like, being left alone in somebody else's, like, like, it is my home, but it is also three other people's homes. And, like, the house itself is, like... Like, like it's a whole house, right? Like, I live... I live downstairs in the basement, which is, like, effectively... Like, like it was its own apartment, 
when we bought the place, like they had been separated and the downstairs was its own like living space. Uh, we took out the kitchen and, and the, the wall and whatever. Right. Um, the, the house itself like feels too big for one person to be alone in. Um, and there's like, there's too much like stuff in here. Right. Like every time I hear like a creak in the floorboards, I'm wondering if somebody is upstairs. I'm wondering if somebody has broken in and is going through like, like, like somebody's bedroom and, and looking for shit to take or whatever. Right. Oh, that! Oh, the axe freaked out there, just a little bit. Yeah, something about like being left, like, like to take care of other people's stuff for an extended period of time is like stressful. It's one thing, like. It's one thing if something happens and, like, like, oh no, somebody broke in and, like, all my shit is damaged or, or destroyed or, or whatever, right? Um, like, a whole other thing if, like, like, a whole, like, other people's shit is affected by that. And then I'm on, on, you know, it's my ass on the line for it, right? There's also the whole, like, you know, you eventually you start running out of food and money and, and it's like, okay, are you guys, you guys coming home? I could probably not eat for today and that would solve a problem, but, you know. Sister of the War Chief Green War. Oh god damn it. I fucked this up real bad. We'll call this a uh, yeah. <sighs> Being alone is kinda lonely, miss talking more. Uh like not being tired from having to talk to someone. Uh big house and creaking is freaking. Also felt that way when I was home alone on rare occasions when I lived at home. Yeah, like, it's it's the kind of thing that happens, like, like, it happens on, like, a regular basis, right? Like, the floor creaks and, and you know, you, you go wandering upstairs to see what the, the noise is and, and whatever. Um, oh. Um, yeah, it's, it's that extended time period of being left alone and... Knowing that nobody else is, is going to be home for a good while. It's a very similar... Um, I don't know if this is like a relatable feeling or whatever. Um, but it's a very similar like stress and tension and anxiety. Um, as like having a pet that is like sick or has like a medical condition and you're worried about that becoming a problem uh, and you do not have transportation to the nearest vet. Like our last puppy, um, before he passed away, like he, um, yeah, he, he had a stroke the one day and like I called my mom at work and I was like, he's like the puppy is having a stroke. I, I don't know what to do. And she's like, okay, I will race home and I will like pick you up and like we'll go to the vet. Um, but like it's going to be like 45 minutes because of like where she works, right? Um, it's, it's just like, like there's, there's no cutting down on the commute time. Just because of the distance. 
similarly, like, if I ever had to, like, go to the hospital or, like, again, like, take the dog to the vet or something, um, like, I would, and, like, and, and they're not here, right? I then have to call, like, I gotta start calling my aunt and my uncle and my grandma and, like, I gotta, I gotta just start going through the phone book to find out who's home and who can take me to the, the emergency room or whatever. I almost had that a few weeks ago when I, like, I was feeling so bad I ended up going to the hospital. Um, I, like, I called, or, no, I didn't call her. I, I, I got up super early in the morning because I was feeling shitty, and I asked my mom before she went to work, I was like, do you know who, like, if anybody is, like, off today, if, like, can I call my aunt, can I call grandma, like... If I need somebody to take me to the hospital, who's my best bet? And you know what? I just sat and dealt with it all day because <laughs> that was a better option than having my grandma take me to the hospital. I sat and felt like shit all fucking day and waited for mom to come home. Um, cause that was a better alternative than, than sitting in the waiting room with my fucking grandma. This is a fight. This is a real fight fight. I really gotta get like on the other side of that boomerang. Fuck. Drink, drink. Fuck. Okay, yeah, you gotta... You gotta block that thing. God, I've only got one poison left. Nope. Okay, he's got that move, huh? If so, if I'm right close to him when he pulls out the boomerang, does he just not throw it? He, like, hits me with it instead? Get in there. I need to fucking hit him. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it looks like he, like, just wallops me with it. Fuck. Can't imagine having your grandma taking you and nagging about faking it or some shit. Oh, man. Oh, you... You know. You know. Oh, man. Oh, fucking dude, you are so tapped in. <laughs> you are so on the money with that. That is absolutely how that would go. Oh, man, I'd, I'd lose my fucking mind, too. I'd be sitting there, like, feeling like I'm dying, and I'd be like, you can go. <laughs> just, just go. You know she's crazy from what I've told you about weird lunch and and my hair yeah that that was wild that that was just like unfathomable crazy <sighs> you use uh, log neck said I use Oda a home delivery service to get groceries delivered to me at home I can go shopping but it's a small distance Bust up the road since it's so steep. Oh. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure we have, like, a... Like, a grocery collection thing. 
like the store that we do our, our, our groceries at, like we can place an order online and then go pick it up at the store, I think. I don't know if they do delivery or not. I'm sure there's some sort of app service that we could uh, we could use for it. But uh, our, our grocery store is like like across the street. Like, it might take, like, one or two trips, but, like, if I had to, I could just walk over and do, like, the whole household's worth of groceries, like, by myself. I would just need, like, a, like a cart or something to, to wheel it all back with. But yeah, like, it's, it's close enough that I could, like, like, pick up the Frozens and, and have them be fine on the way home. I've asked my mom about trying out like um, like the Hello Fresh or the Factor or whatever. Um, apparently, she tried the Factor like through work or whatever, and um, did not like it. She did not care for Factor. Said everything was like spicy and greasy. I don't know if that was just like the menu at the time or if it's always like that or what, but uh, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of like the pre made meals sort of thing. I have a, um, a recipe saved on my Pinterest, I think, that is like. I think, I think it's actually like two or three different meals that like you batch make. Like, you, you make the whole meal, and you make it, like, enough to feed, like, several people, and then you box it up, and you freeze it, and you just, like, defrost and eat it, like, as the month goes on. Like, you, you just, you do your cooking, like, once a month kind of thing. Which is really cool. Like, I, I really like that idea. Really, like, cuts down on the, the time spent dealing with dinner every night. I might actually talk to my mom about that and see how, like how she feels about doing something like that. We'd have to cook like way more because there's like fucking four of us in the house. But uh, yeah, having a meal that's like just frozen that we can pull out like two, three times a week would be great. We'd probably save a lot of stress on on her end i think oh god damn this guy and his boomerang i don't even want to try to heal i feel like i just like i fucked it up also as much as like as much as the the sword does i feel like i should maybe switch to the spear just cuz like i feel like i have to get like in next to a dude to fight him and then I'm like I'm at more risk of getting hit uh kind of agree make the food you know you like not add stuff in food like grease or something you hate ruining the whole meal since it's combined with the whole batch I'm thinking of making homemade fries see if I can do it oh that'd be cool I don't think I've ever made like like fries from scratch um That'd be really cool. I used to season my own fries. We'd get just like like plain just like regular fries um, from the freezer section, just like cook them up in the onion. <laughs> cook them up in the onion. Um, cook them up in the oven. And then, like, I'd go rifling through the, the spice rack and, and, like, try to find, like, killer seasoning combinations for the french fries. That's a holdover from, um, from my restaurant days. On slow days, um, 
when I worked in the kitchen, um, they'd they'd like cook up a, a batch of, of fries, and then um, we'd all take turns um, grab we, we'd all grab like a little like a like a sampling cup, and um, just start mixing sauces and seasonings and shit, and see who could come up with like the best uh, the best fry dip. They used to make this Cajun seasoning shit at that restaurant that was just incredible, man. Loved that shit. Loved that flavor. And I spent years trying to, like, find it and replicate it and, and figure it out. And eventually I just sort of, like, gave up and I was like, fuck it, I'll make my own Cajun spice. Um, and then I went to, like use a bit of my mom's because <laughs> when I said I'll, I'll just make my own Cajun spice um what I actually did was like I bought like like six different kinds of like Cajun spice or Creole rub or whatever and I just dumped them all into a fucking bowl and mixed them up <laughs> I was like if none of you are what I want then I will just use all of you um so I grabbed a bit of my mom's to throw in the mix as well, um, and I, I unscrewed the lid and I smelled it and I was like, oh my god, what? where did you get this? And she's like, I made it. I was like, fuck off, you made it. This is like the exact smell. This, this is the seasoning recipe. How did you, how? And she's like, I don't know, that's just how I make it. And I was like, you fuck off, like you've had this recipe the whole time. I went to so many different places, tried out so many different fucking seasonings, and we had it in the kitchen at home. I was a little upset. Mind you, my big, like, mishmash mix of Cajun seasonings is pretty good, too. We put that on a roast sometimes. And whoa, oh, oh, that's good. Fucking Cajun roast beef. Ooh, that's that's a flavor. That's some good meat. Seems he wasn't the only one here for vengeance. Shield made in yellow tongue was waiting. Okay, so I can dodge under that. It looks like I have to time it better, but it looks like I can do totally dodge under and behind his boomerang. Boom, 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 barang. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, too soon. Damn it. I was just thinking, with the boomerang, I have to, like, wait till I have, um... Wait till I feel like it's time to hit the button, and then wait like another second, and then hit it. Seems he wasn't the With that charging red attack, though, you gotta do like the the opposite. Ah, oh, fuck! God damn it! You whore! Fuck! Oh god! Come on. Oh, damn. This fucking bitch. Alright, maybe I can get some, uh... Maybe I can get some better frog resistance on this armor or something. I don't know. Let's see. I definitely need to, like, keep my armor, like, where it is. Like, my defense. Let's see. Oh, frog resistance go up even higher there. Really? This is light armor? Am I wearing? Am I actually wearing? Yeah, that's light armor. Holy shit. That's crazy. Grub resistance all the way up. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of nuts. Alright. 
These don't affect uh, those stats, do they? Might as well match my my set, right? Who knows? Maybe the uh, the lighter weight will actually help. It's a shame these shields are all terrible. All right, I think I'm as good as I'm gonna get there. What am I using here? I'm using the. Uh, what is this? That's the two-handed, right? I'm using this. Okay, that's got. I can squeeze out a bit more damage with like with this but it's the move set that I want right yeah it's not the damage it's the it's the other shit uh, maybe salt and pepper with the oil so it adds more taste to the potato yeah they, you can do that flavoring your oil while you uh, you cook the the potatoes in that's a good idea Logneko asks, how do you mix spices? Do you need to grind them down together? No, nah, like, um, like, they're already, like, ground up, like, in a bottle or whatever, right? Like, um, like, I don't know how, uh, how mom makes, like, like, her Cajun spice mix, like, from scratch, right? I don't know what all she puts in there specifically, um, but I know that, like, there is a mixture of, like, um, I, I, I know, like, some of the things that are in it, and, like, they are just, like, spices off the shelf. Um, so you just mix them? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like I said, like, what I did, like, I got, like, um, like, I went, like, to the grocery store, and, like, in the spice section, they've got, like, different brands or whatever. So I grabbed, like, I, I grabbed, like, one Cajun spice thing from each of the different brands that have them and then just dump the jars into a bowl and mix them by hand. I specifically do it by hand. Like, I wash my hands and I clean them first. Um, but I specifically like to mix my spices by hand. Um, just so, like, so that I know it's mixing. You can get in there and you can use your fingers to really, like, shift it around and, and like, break up clumps of stuff if, uh, if anything is, like, hardened or whatever. Probably don't need to be that close to him, right? Fuck. Also, don't want to keep too much distance or I'm going to whiff... Okay, I should have stuck with the the sword. Just take the hit. Yeah. Maybe I should make my own spice sometime. We'll need to have a certain type I want that I can just buy done in the store. Yeah. Um, we also have um, a bulk barn. Um, I don't know if you guys have that in uh, in Europe. Um, bulk barn is a. Um, they they sell um like various like like candies and spices and um like baking ingredients and whatnot you can go in there and you can get like um like let's say you needed like sprinkles for cupcakes um if you needed more than like the little cup that they're going to sell you at say the dollar store or whatever, you can go into bulk barn and you can get like, like a trash bag full of sprinkles or, or whatever else you need. Right. Um, so I think like mom goes there to get her raw ingredient spices like in bulk and then she'll like measure them out and mix them. Mom also um, grows an herb garden out back, though, so, like, she uses a lot of what she grows in her mixtures as well. 
feel like I dodged right under that uh, boomerang. I guess not. Don't think you guys have that, but maybe you do. I mean, you guys might have something similar, right? You might have a um, a different store that does the same sort of thing. Oh man, did I get hit on the rebound with that? Oh god damn it. So it looks like he does that boomerang thing mainly when he's in the corner. If I'm close enough, he'll throw it like directly at me. And it'll bust on my shield. Otherwise, it goes over me. Fuck! God damn it. Oh, shit. You and your goddamn floor stomp. Ah, shit. Right, yeah, again. Fuck me, man. Oh, I'm out of heals. Great. Ah, God. Oh, this guy's a fucking pain in the ass to deal with. Seems he wasn't the only one here for vengeance. Shield oh, fuck off. Damn it. You stupid whore. Block it and then drink and swing. And swing. There we go. Drink. And swing. Oh, fuck off with the boomerang and everything else too please oh my god he fucking turned around mid throw Jesus Christ oh this is a pain in the ass fucking hell man uh, Log Nego asks, have you been watching Konosuba the new season? I haven't myself but I saw a clip oh yeah I have um I've I've been watching both the sub and the dub. Um, and it, it's pretty good. There's um. There's a weird like awkwardness to it in the first few episodes. Like, like you know when when like there's like an awkward pause to like accentuate like the tension in a scene and it's like hey the longer we pause and do nothing the funnier it is sometimes those moments go on a little too long and like i'm not sure if like my computer has frozen or not but it's good it's um it's it's pretty all right so far It's the first time I've ever actually watched Konosuba, like, in Japanese at all. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm hearing, like, all of the voice actors, like, for the the first time, sort of. And it's it, it's just weird hearing Kazuma in Japanese. It's very, like, hearing the original Japanese voice actor and how he does Kazuma, and then, hear like, hearing the English voice actor, like, the English guy nailed it. Right, like he did a he did an incredible job, like capturing not just the character, but like the original performance as well.
yeah, I kind of, um, <laughs> I kind of couldn't wait for the, the dub to come out, so I started watching the sub, and then the dub came out, and I was like, well, I'm just gonna watch it dubbed now, um, and then the new, I think the sub is like an episode or two ahead of the dub, so I was like, well, I could also just keep watching this. Then I'm caught up and I get to watch it the way that I like it. Oh, God damn. Mm -hmm. Ha, ha. Yeah, I, uh, I did a, uh, I did a watch through of it again recently, too. Like, the first, uh, few seasons in the movie. And I also checked out the Megumin spinoff again. Um, there's a lot of, like, connecting threads in that Megumin spinoff. It's not my favorite piece of media, but, like, there's a lot of really cool, like, like, background details that uh, sort of, like, tie into the rest of the series and, and raise a few questions. I haven't seen much of the Megumin spinoff for the three episodes, I think. It gets much better than the first couple of episodes. I'll admit, like, I didn't want to watch the f uh, first few... Um, I didn't want to watch it initially because I checked out the first episode and it, like, looked like it was just Megumin at school. Uh, but the school portion uh, ends... Like, after, I think, like, after three or four episodes. Because it's not just, like, how she grew up in the village and, and whatnot. It's also, like, how she comes to Axel and ends up meeting Cosmo and Aqua. It actually takes you, like, right up to the moment where, like, she walks up to the table and introduces herself. Definitely worth a watch if you like Konosuba and haven't seen the uh, the spinoff yet. Uh. I think you were saying before... Um, that you were hoping at some point we get a little bit more lore in regards to the, the Crimson Demon Clan. There is a bit in there. There is a little bit of, like, um, like, fleshing out of, like, their culture and a bit of their history and, and that kind of thing. Seems he wasn't the only one here for vengeance. She ah, fuck. I don't know how to deal with the boomerang attack. You know what? I'm gonna... Tales of Iron... Yellow... Shield Maiden Yellow Tongue. Yellow Tongue... Boomerang attack. Um, let's see. Anyone know? Shield me, you don't think it's cheat? No. Nope. nope. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna watch a video of this of this boss fight. I'm gonna see how they do it.
Wait, you just stand at the exit? Hold on. It looks like he just blocks it at the far end. Yeah, it looks like... The fuck? I, I can't tell if he's like blocking it or parrying it. I don't think you can parry that thing. Uh, one thing sure of is from the movie is that the guy who made the ultimate weapon um, is made by the guy who made the walking city. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the, um, yeah, and the sex robot from the, from the OVA, yeah. Yeah, that guy's responsible for a lot of bullshit. I don't, I don't understand. I, okay, so he... So, in the video, the guy, he's, he, he's got his two-handed, right? And he, he'd stand at the entrance there and he'd just block. He just blocked it, but he didn't fall down when he blocked it. I, I tried to block it and I did not block it. I'm a little confused here. Can can you like I'm a little confused there. I don't know I don't know what happened. I don't actually know what happened. I tried to do the parry and his thing broke in my shield and then he threw another one at me. Okay. Okay. I did the parry that time and it broke. No. Okay. All right. No. Okay, so you you can kind of parry the boomerang a little bit. Okay, no. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, don't know how to deal with that. Right, yeah, gotta... Don't... Don't actually know how to deal with that. Seems he wasn't the only one here for vengeance. Shield Maiden Yellowtongue was waiting. Great. Screaming the name of her fallen brother. War Chief Greenwood. Two, three... Oh, I should have backed up. Damn it. Ugh. I, I don't... I don't understand the boomerang. Don't understand it. He's taunting it by blocking the boomerang and waiting for him to come over. He just runs across the room to taunt him again and then you go over the small jabs. But, like, I can't, like, I don't know how to block the boomerang, though. Like, because I, like, I block it, and then I fall over. But he's able to block it without getting knocked down. Fuck. Man. 
This sucks. Ah, oh, God, I tried to dodge through that. Oh. Oh, is he, like, stuck? Okay, so you can block that ground pound thing. Is there a different shield? Oh, there's tons of shields. And in fact, like, the clip I was watching, like, he wasn't even using a shield. He was using the two-handed uh, weapon to block. Oh, god damn it. <clears throat> oh, fuck. I was actually getting somewhere that time. Shit. Oh, god damn it. And then I got caught up. The only one here for vengeance. Shield maiden yellow tongue was waiting. Uh. The name of the fallen brother. War chief Greenwood. All right. Right, don't dodge through him like that. That's stupid. When he does the, the AoE. Gotta dodge back. Like that. Ah, fuck. Don't use dodge to close the distance, only to... dodge his attacks. Like that. If I use it to get close to him, then I'm in a cooldown state when I actually need to use it to get out of his attack range. Fuck. Oh, don't waste bullets. Drink. Block. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it, I should have gone towards him. If he throws the boomerang and then he does the AoE thing, go through him. get him oh no he's doing the monkey frog thing oh damn it oh I was so close one more hit Looks like he doesn't have a shield, he had a bone spear. Uh, I think this read this guy is DLC. Oh, he is. He 100% is DLC. That's that's what we're doing today. We're we're in the DLC. Looks like I just have to be calmer about this. Calm and focus. Ah, shit. Ah, damn it. Ah! I think I've ruined this run. Okay. Alright. We're doing stuff. Mm. 
Should have gone through them. Ah, fuck. No, hit him. Fuck. No, get in there. Hit him. Hit the bitch. Have you tried hitting the bitch? Now, scientifically speaking, has not hitting the bitch produced the desired results? Oh, 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 okay, yeah. Oh, that was, that was dumb. That a big dumb roll. Oh, I'm gonna fuck this up so bad. Oh, damn it. Oh, man, I am so fucking close. What is... Oh, what happened here to my... God damn it, my fucking... My fucking stream crashed on my phone. There we go, that's better. Seems he wasn't the only one here for vengeance. Shield Maiden Yellowtongue was waiting, screaming the name of her fallen brother, War Chief Greenport. Two. Back up. Hit him. Ah, oh, shit. Go drink, drink, drink. Shield. Ah, oh, fuck. I couldn't get under there in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up and block and hit him. Okay, hit him. <clears throat> okay, oh, I don't know why I rolled for that. That was a stupid thing to do. Oh, damn it. I knew he'd pop up at one end of the screen. I didn't think he'd be over there, though. Okay, wasted that last shot, that's okay. Yep, hit him, fucking hit him with poison. It's okay, get in there. Hit him with the poison, back up. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, shit. I was on the other side of it and I still got rocked. Ah, oh, fuck. Did that to myself. Oh. Oh, shit.
Get her. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, fuck the AoE on that. Oh, shit. Come on. I did it. I fucking did it. Hey, man, this is here. Welcome, welcome, buddy. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Hope all is good with you today. Man, says, yo, what's up? What's up, Log Nago? We're doing okay. I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, it's, it's good to have you here. That, fuck, how long did that take? Is that like 20 minutes on that one fight? Jesus Christ. It's done, though. We did it. We got it super good. I don't care for the look of that armor, but it's cool, though. Is there nothing else up here, huh? All right. Well, I guess I can go tell the squirrels that there's no more frogs in the tower. Drink a drink a drink a drink. Chug it back. Just dump that sunny D all over your face. You have a $4 game called Morbid? Have I heard of it? No, I don't think I have heard of that one. Morbid, huh? What kind of... What kind of game are we talking? Is this a spooky, scary... scare -em up Or is this like one of them... think -em games? Like the inside, or the... The name of it makes me think of, like, Inside or Limbo or um, whatever that third one is. It's RPG, top-down action. Oh! Oh, interesting. Let's, uh, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's do what we do and pause the stream so that I can see if that is, uh, if it's on st uh, Steam here. <laughs> morbid. Oh, yeah, yeah Morbid. Uh, atmospheric cycle. Oh wait, no, that's not. It goes for like eighty dollars for the switch. Um. Oh, this is a different game entirely. Morbid. Is there like a like a subtitle to it? Like uh. Like morbid catastrophe. The. Wait, oh, oh, here we go. Seven Acolytes. Uh, Lords of Ire. Inhale. There's two of them. I got the seven something. Oh, okay, the seven Acolytes. So that's this one here. $28.99 Canadian on Steam. Really? $80 on Steam? Or on Switch? That's an $80 Switch game? Because it's like 30 here on, on Steam. That's crazy, dude. Nintendo really be just like squeezing everything out of people. This is kind of neat looking. It very, yeah, morbid is a good uh, word for this. Very gory. Very, um, very vampire rain, I think. Oh, oh, that menu, though. Like, Shades of Diablo in here. Actually, now that I'm looking at, like, the UI and, like, the style of the, the HUD and everything, yeah, like, very Diablo-inspired. Well, this is kind of neat. It's a bit gory for for me. It's a, it's a bit heavy on the, the blood and gore, I think. But uh, it looks really cool, though. You'll, um, you'll probably have some fun with that. Stepping out of your comfort zone of games. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it that looks like, uh, like, the combat, at least, is, is gonna be fun, like, to hit enemies and whatnot. It looks like it's got a neat, um, it's got one of those inventories where things, like, physically take up space, so you have to, like, actually organize stuff. 
That's always cool. I like games that, uh, that do that. Yeah, that looks neat, man. You let me know how uh, how you enjoy it if um, if you do enjoy it whenever you get into it. How's this game coming along? Pretty good. Um, we're doing the DLC now. We we finished the base game yesterday, and we might actually have just finished the DLC. We might have actually just done the last quest. Um, yeah, we just did the last quest of the DLC, so, um, how is this game coming? We just fucking finished it. <laughs> like, like this, like the minute you asked that. <laughs> oh man, is there really nothing left? Is there really like... I can't talk to the squirrel guys no more. Oh shit, man. Okay, so how many? Hold on. I fought the law and the law one. Um, <laughs> no, I fought a boss there and I fought a boss there and I fought a boss, I think like out here. And I think there was one down here. And I think there was. There might have been an, another one out here, and then another one up there, up in there. So I think like half of the bosses that were added to this DLC might be in the arena. They might be in Mole Town. I'm not sure. Well, we'll just... <laughs> There's only one thing left to do, I guess, so we will... Uh... We'll head back to the castle, and we'll see what some of our um, we'll see what some of our upgrades look like because we got a bunch of uh, uh, aesthetic stuff, cosmetics. This family's wagon wheel broke in the mud. They offered a reward if Reggie could find them a replacement. How about this? Oh, the wagon would be on its way. Reggie assured them they'd not miss the festival as there'd been a few. Minor delays. Um. Yeah, it's fine. You guys didn't. Festival's just getting started. Go drink your sap, smoke your moss. It's time for the squirrels to get high. In in the light of the forest. There's like really nothing else to do on this map, huh? Yeah, okay. So, back to the castle. <laughs> oh, man, I was expecting this to take, like, a lot longer. The How Long to Beat had anywhere from two hours up to, like, six, I think. It was like, oh, it could take six hours if you, like, you do all the 100%, you do everything. But, like, I've done everything that I'm aware of. So, yeah, I got nothing. I guess we can check out, yeah. Oh, look at that, we got the paintings. Show off how cool I am, right? Right, there's a... Oh, bunch of paint. The one one with, with me and the, and the mole guy. Bros for life. The, are those the banners on the wall that they were talking about? I guess those are the smithy banners. And uh, there's the restored painting. King Rattus and his uh, little two out of his three boys. Dennis is our brother, but also the chef is our brother, isn't he? Isn't he also our bro? Whatever. The kitchen looks really nice. I love, I just say, I love this old world um, 
uh, tradition, aesthetic, whatever, of, like, the strings hanging across the ceiling with, like, various foods strung up to, like, dry out. I love this. I love seeing, like, the plants and the ingredients and shit, like, hanging across the kitchen ceiling. This is so cool. Like, like fucking pantry in the corner you the ingredients splayed out all over the table you got shit hanging from the seat like this is a kitchen right you got the you you got your stove over here but you've got like the fire in the in the fireplace going constantly with the stew that never runs out the forever stew i gotta say i like that little library in there that's kind of neat it looks like the extent of the books is like that little pile on the floor there, which isn't much of a library. This is more of a study. But that's okay. Semantics. Oh, and the statues. This place was really like open and empty before. That DLC shit really adds a lot to it, doesn't it? Now upgraded all the the shit in the background. Is there nothing else out here? No. I love that photo, the the painting of like him and the mole guy. Alright. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna sit down. And this, yeah, there we go. We did it, guys. We did it. We beat Rat Souls. I can't wait for the next one to come out. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a cool game. Um, how long did that take us? Uh, like two hours? Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm surprised that like it takes people longer to do whatever else is left that I seem to be missing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I guess there's a few pieces of, of equipment that I'm missing and, uh, yeah, there's those arena fights and like, unless those arena fights account for the rest of the boss fights that the bright fur was supposed to add, uh, cause I think it says something like 14 new bosses, uh, in the trailer, which I don't think we fought 14 bosses today. We got, we got a good number of them, but I don't think we did that many. Um, yeah, we, we made pretty good time with that, so that's all right. Um, that pulls that off the schedule, which means uh, we don't have to come back to this next week. Tomorrow, Saturday, tomorrow we should be finishing up Halo 1. Um... So we'll be able to pull that off the schedule as well. Uh, and then we'll be able to either... We'll either start something new on Sunday, or we'll do a, an extra day of Legend of Mana. We may do an extra day, because we're getting close to the... I think we're like halfway... At least halfway through that. Thereabouts, something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, you guys have that to look forward to. Uh, and then next week we've got Legend of Mana, and we'll have two new uh, games uh, popping up on the channel. Um, I'm thinking all the time, never stops. Uh, <laughs> but no, I'm um, I'm thinking I kind of want to try and get the uh, uh, the ROM hack going and try out that. Um, I want to try out that fan-made um, Legend of Zelda, the uh, the Ock of Time remix thing. Um, came out like a year ago or whatever, and I never got around to doing it. Uh, I think I downloaded the the file. I just um, I have to uh, I have to actually like do the ROM hack, and then we could play it. Um, but yeah, we might we might do that if I can get it working. I'd really like to to check that out. Feels like it's it's a it's good time to play a Zelda. So, look forward to maybe that, maybe some other stuff. 
Um, either way, thank you guys for coming to hang out today. Um, it's real cool of you being here in the chat, the archive, wherever. Uh, I do appreciate you being here, spending your time with me, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys had a good time, and we'll come back for more um, whenever we're here, whenever you guys got time. And until then, I guess just take it easy, stay inside and stay safe, or, you know, go out and have fun and be cool, but be safe, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, boy, boy!